And we are live. Welcome to the next product preview. I'm Arvin. And I'm Julie. Welcome. We're, we're glad to have you here. Um, so we've had a couple of these and we're learning as we go along. Um, it's been uh, quite the adventure. Um, I've really never done live video, neither has she. And so we wanted to make this a little bit more engaging. We're going to wait for a few people to jump on. Um, and we're actually um, going to try a little different version of it today. So we're seeing your comments today as they go along, which we have not seen up till now. And we also have Jeremy behind the scenes today that he's going to help us. There he is. He's going to help us today with anything that he can do to uh, do live uh, close-ups and such. So hopefully we won't make you as uh, car sick as we have in the past couple of videos. That's some of the feedback that we've gotten. Um, Hello, Jackie. Hello, Connie. Hi. I see you guys jumping on. So again, we're, we're, we're getting better and better. It's just like, uh, you know, it's trial and error, I guess, for us. Yep. It's like riding a bike. Got to learn, right? So hello, hello. See Shelly, Shelly, Renee, Laura. Laura saying hello, Jeremy. Hi, Denise. Hey, is it Laura Camp? Yes, yes it, it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi, Kathy. Gosh, you guys are hopping right on. We got Peggy. We got Lori. We got Sharon Miller. Hello. Hi, Sharon. All right, I think we're, we're going to get started. So this week we're uh, featuring our Milan collection, mm -hmm. uh, which we started with just solids about a year and a half ago. We had uh, a little bit of a hard time out of the gate with stabilizing the quality. And my God, these are some of the new stuff and they just get better and better they as, really do. as our factory, um, you know, works to fine tune all the the challenges we've had. So we wanted to do a, a little show today of, of Facebook Live to highlight not just what's new, but also some of the newer colors and explain to you guys that, um, you know, we, we know that there's some challenges with the Milan, with other competing products in the marketplace. And uh, we're here to tell you that we've corrected our end and we're ready for you guys to jump back on the Milan wagon because it is a beautiful product. You know, and so we're going to we're going to get started. We're um, with a product that's ready to ship right now, which is called the Dolce Milan Dolce. It comes in six colors um, and I'm going to hold them up and you can start with uh, graphite. So they're tipped. The, this, this is the uniqueness of this particular product is that they have uh, a tipping on the end. We have a, put a darker tip than the base fabric is on all of them, whether it's a tone on tone or whether it's completely different shades. Like this one is a graphite base with a black top on it. And so, um, so if you look at the back, that color is the base color and then they, they, they tip it, they, they call it a tip printing. And so it gives it kind of like a little more elegant, a little more sophisticated look than just the solid would be. So why it works so well in this product is when you bend the fibers over or you bend the fabric in half, you'll see that it the makes the back show through more. So that's why it works so well on this product. So if I stretch it, you see, you know, a pretty evenly distributed tipping, but once you, the elastic has a chance to rest, which on these fabrics, you know, we've, we've done some measurements and not every shipment is going to be exactly the yeah. same, but there's somewhere between the, I would say 20 to 30% stretchability. So if you really want a, a yard of rested fabric, you should probably buy a yard and a quarter. Um, so between 25 and 30% seems to be the ratio of elasticity on them. And so when you say um, weight, Peggy, I think um, the length of the pile runs between 13 millimeters and 15 millimeters on these. And, but the weight of the product is really hard so I would call it a medium weight product, even it's though... It's about 500 grams is what it is. Yeah, so if that means something it's to about you. about a medium weight. Yeah. yeah, so a medium weight in terms of warmth and things. But a lot of people, because of the air that it creates underneath it with the elasticity, a lot of folks say that it's really easy to sleep under, that they're very comfortable with it. And, and of course, it says uh, great for the toes. Everybody always talks about <laughs> the Milan because you can tuck your little feet into the... Um, all the folds of the elasticity. So Andy, we're working fun. on it. I hear you loud and clear. That we, we have a, a couple of plans in the works to have more product available throughout the retail network. We do have a lot of amazing retail partners, but you know, I understand people want to go to a store near them, feel the product, yeah. and and you know, get inspired by the product. So you could go on our store finder if you have trouble. 
uh, on that store finder. There's a lot of online uh, retailers that carry our product, wonderful partners. And uh, again, we're, we're working on figuring out how we could get the product into more brick and mortar litter mom and pops so you, can, you guys can have access to feeling and touching them. So if you're, if you're a consumer and you're looking for product, please ask your local quilt shop to carry it. Um, it's a bit challenging for them. So they have some hurdles that they have to overcome because of the cutting. So we measure it stretched and so does the retail store. So they need, they have to do a few things to kind of train their staff and things. So if there's hesitancy, that's really what the hesitancy is about, is them the learning curve that it takes. So always calculate yourself to make sure you have enough yardage yourself when you're doing it. If you want the, the two yards finished piece, then you know you're going to have to buy, probably buy about a half a yard more. Half yards, yep. yep, about a half a yard more to get what you need. And then if you're really concerned, just go a teeny bit more so that you feel comfortable with it. But it's a, not Maybe a science. Maybe you can make a scarf with it yeah. if you got some excess. You know, you know sewing. It's just not a science. It's actually you know the variables of all kinds that exist. So um, that's part of what we as a collective, um, what we tell everybody to do is that a little bit of extra with with this, but please ask your local quilt shops. They, I think that once they get on board with it, we're also gonna, we're also doing some pre-cuts in this for the quilt shops to help them so that they'll have a few cuts. So we're doing only solids to begin with and there's just a handful that we're starting with, but we're gonna try it that way to see if that helps everybody a little bit. Right. So, Hello, right. Annette, hello, Kathy, hello, Peggy, uh, and hello, Denise. So basically this was graphite. It's our gray shade. Um, then we've got, should be cocoa. Cocoa, yes. So a cocoa is kind of a, a little bit of a, a grayish brown tone. It's like so, a pewtery almost. Yeah, it has a little bit more of the gray undertone to it with a brownie tip on it. So really the, pretty. It I mean, really is a nice. And, and one of the things about the, the new updated Milan is that it has zero, like very, very little shedding. And I know that's been one of the major complaints about this product category. Uh, and some of the other in products in, in the marketplace is that it just sheds a lot. It's super soft, but it sheds a lot. And, you know, people have said, well, that's part of it. You got to brush it out or you got to wash it. That's not the nature of the minky fabric. If it sheds, it's going to continue shedding and it's going to, it's not going to stop. So it's, it's how it con it's constructed on the back. It's how much stabilizer they use in the back. It's the, the quality of the ingray that we've talked about a couple of times uh, on the previous two shows. So you start with a quality ingray and you do the right finishing and you put the right touches on the back. You're going to have very little to no shedding, which is what these guys are um, going to be. And, and I mean, look, again, you got you to gotta, you gotta play around and feel it for yourself to just understand. They, they will all at the cuts. Now, they're going to shed at the cut. That's, what, that's normal, right? Once you cut it off the seam, they will shed a little bit. You could pull the fiber. It's like getting a haircut. But once it's sewn... It should be done. There should be no more shedding if the product is quality uh, driven. So I do want to say, though, that at the beginning, we had a few that were a little on the stiff side. And that the reason the stiffness was there is because stiffness comes with combating shedding. Right. So the back, they stiffen the back a little bit to keep it from shedding. And they and, made it too and stiff. And they kind of went a little overboard because we're so obsessed with things not shedding that maybe it was even our own doing a little bit to overdo that. But now we found the happy balance between no shedding and softer backs. And then of course the front is just bunny soft. That's just the only way to describe what Milan feels like is bunny soft. Hello, Mary Lou from Alabama. All right, here we got the next one is pecan. And pecan is a little darker, more warmer, brownie, reddish shade of the, the earthies. So it's got the it's got the lighter tip in, in or the lighter tone inside with the tip being just slightly darker. So I think this one is very animal looking. This yeah. one has probably the closest to a bearish look to me. Then we have pansy. And this is probably the one of the prettiest ones to see online when you look at them online because this has got the pansy, which is you know kind of a brightish mid-tone purple so that's why it really comes through the black just to show really, you the really contrast beautiful. really beautiful yeah. hey lou and bev we see you thanks for coming so, now this is emerald this is arvin's favorite it's it, it i mean emerald uh is a beautiful jewel tone color i'm gonna have a vienna emerald sneak peek it's coming on the next yeah. shipment <laughs> of uh colors for vienna i'm gonna have one of those for my wife for for the house because that's just a strikingly beautiful piece 
So as you, could, as you can see, once again, that look at the richness of that back, but it's almost illuminates. Yes. And it's just so gorgeous. And so they're doing such a lovely job with the, with the emeralds. I, I'm really impressed with what the emeralds look like. Bonnie, so. hello from Florida. We've got Vivian from Indiana. Jane, hello. And then we've got the last one in this group is the Navy. So this one's interesting because we put navy with a black on top of it. So we really didn't know if it would show up. But honestly, it is like very, the very most elegant. rich, beautiful navy you could ever ask yeah. for. So if you've got a lot of navy in your house and you want something that's very, very deep and rich, it's a contrast. Color. Yeah, oh, it's really, really, contrast. really pretty. So that really that was that. the Dolce. Um, then we've got two colors of the Luca, which some of you have been shipped the first color here, cocoa, um, and it's pretty beautiful. It kind of has yeah. a rustic look to it. Arvin, why don't you pull on that side and I'll pull on this side so we can show them what the pattern looks like. So you can actually see the pattern of the product. So it looks completely different stretched out yep. than it does when it's um, uh, elasticized. But I think that's part of the fun of the piece. Yeah. And then this is the other Luca, which is the natural color. Oh, this is really pretty. And, and this one hasn't arrived yet. It's going to be coming in I think in the next uh, month or so. Can you grab the cocoa back over there, the cocoa piece that. Yeah. The other one. The other one. Oh, that's nice too. The other Actually, one. Actually, this let's, is better. Let's, let's grab that one too, though. Let's look and see what both look like. You know, the the fabric part of me can't stand not doing this. I have to compare all of them. So honestly, they both work. This one's probably a smidge better than this one is than the the yeah. cocoa versus the pecan, but they're both gorgeous with it. It'd be such a pretty blanket back yes, to back. back Ooh, to back would that's be another thing I wanted to be sure we mentioned today that, you know, the question gets asked a lot. Can I put the Milan on the back of a flat Lux? Absolutely. You can. The challenges of sewing it change just ever so slightly, but still very doable. It just takes a lot of pinning and making sure that your top matches your base. So it, it, it will, because the, you know, the elasticity on this is forgiving. So you'll just have to gather it a little bit more in those areas that it needs to fit better. So, but back to back is probably the easiest to sew. And it's not as hard as you think. It's just a matter of matching it and using lots of so, pins, you'll be fine. So we carried a product about 12 years ago mm -hmm. in the acrylic. If you guys remember our Tissavel collection, we used to have the Tissavel Sharpe, uh, which we carried in, I think, three or four colors. It was acrylic. It was very expensive. It was... $40, $40 a yard wholesale. Yeah. Um, and so those products we had for a number of years. And then when the polyester started coming out, slowly the, the demand for those declined because just it was a better price point, easier to take care of, washability, and quite frankly, the sew and yeah. cut worth. And they didn't shed. Um, the, the acrylics always shed a little bit, um, especially you know, as, as you're working with them, they get a little all over the place. But so, you know, our mill that we used to buy the same Sharpe acrylic, the Tissavels from, developed this because we went back to them and said, well, look, we want to create that item in polyester. So it took them a while again, but now some of this new stuff, and, and we're not going to, we're going to tease you with this right here because that's the newest one called but, uh, Enzo. Wait, I, I want to address something just really quickly. When Arvin refers to the acrylics, he's talking about actual fake fur. So, you know, we, there's a big difference between what fake fur is, the proper use of fake fur and Lux Cuddle. Usually the difference is the content of it and the washability of it. And that's one of the reasons why we're asking the mills to go so much towards polyester and away from the acrylic yarns is the acrylic is so much harder to care for than the polyesters are. That, you know, they require uh, a, a, no, wash, no washing this way, no doing this and no doing that. So we like the yeses instead of the noes. So we're going towards uh, polyesters in this and trying to replace anything that we possibly can. So this one is the clouded leopard. So we originally came out, there was a question, it says, I thought uh, it Candace. was supposed to be more tan, but it turned out like a gray brown. Which uh, fabric, Candace? Which fabric are you referring to? You're always in the know. So let's see, help us out with that, Candace. We'll wait anyway. for your uh, co comment. Hello to Peggy from Arizona. Um, oh, the cocoa, I guess. Is no, that, that's not no, Candace. No. Which fabric is all? It's all we just need to know which one. You so cut that we can... unstretched. 
when you cut Milan? Maybe you could give them. Um, I I think it's necessary to cut it unstretched because you're not you can't tell if you're going in a straight line if you're using it. Maybe put a ruler over yes, it. Yes, I think just, just putting it. some harder things over the top of it just to kind of hold it into place. If anybody in the in the comments. Uh, right now has some ideas on how they cut it to keep it straight. I think any we can all use any advice that we can get in this category. And you probably want to cut it from the back if if you're cutting through the width and cut on the elastic. That'll keep it together the best. Yeah. Um, so if you just put it backwards, put like a ruler and just cut along the the middle of the elastic. That way you'll have the less least amount of frayage. And, and just controlled it a little bit right. more. And I think that that's a Teresa recommendation as well. So when she's giving her, our educator gives her instructions, she always suggests to cut it on the elastic. And I do think it's easier for you to control. So clouded leopard, uh, there is two colors. To go back to what Candace, she mentioned it was the Luca. Oh, the Luca. Yes, the, the color did change. Yes, the mm -hmm. color on the, the natural did change a bit. Yes, and that was intentional because it just, it just didn't, didn't look, look that as good. good. Yes. And so, you know, we are, even when we give you sneak peeks, and something comes in and it's not perfect enough, it's got to go back to the drawing board because, yeah. you know, we're really particular. And, and that's the reason we're particular is because we want the best of the best for you. So, so this one is acorn. You okay. guys, a lot of you have that. And then this one is hazelnut. Again, so, this is clouded Leo. Yep. The hazelnut is just a warmer, redder tone where the acorn is more of the, um, just a, Beautiful animal. It's print. actually, you know what this actually is? This is actually the exact same thing as we showed you the other week in Wild Jag. The print is exactly yes. the same print. So I would look to see if those two could even go back to back. I bet you those could There's, go back to back. There's uh, three new colors of this. This is my favorite. Now look at this, Oh my guys. God. Ooh. This is gorgeous. This is rose water. water. And we could just stretch it so you could see the colors. Absolutely pretty. beautiful. Oh. So the, if the camera's not picking it up correctly, the, the lightest color is rose water. It is, doesn't go all the way to a natural or a white. Yes, it's Teresa actually, is awesome. She really is. No, we love our Teresa. And Hawk. And Hawk. Hawk is on the back. On the, he's working on the back end, making sure we got the audio coming Say through. Say hi, Hawk. This is uh, the silver color. And then there is one other color coming in called Simply Taupe, which we haven't received a sample on yet. So we can't show you yet. But it's it's just more of a, I think it's like a naturally. It's very light. Yes, lighter, very light lighter shade. Yes, I want that to be very, very soft. So that it's completely different than anything we have right now. We're going to now go to a few of the newer colors of Milan that I don't know if everyone's seen. Um, they're fairly new. They came out earlier this year. This is Marlin. So I know Marlon picks up on the screen beautifully. It's a very bright royal blue. Very, very pretty shade. If you don't have it in your personal stash and you love blues, this is a really great one to choose. This is Bluebell. Y'all know Bluebell, I think. It's, 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 oh, it's a warmer denim. In the screen, I'm seeing it not as quite as warm as it looks in person here. I don't see Hog's thumb. There he is. <laughs> I'll, gi I'll give him the thumbs up. <laughs> is awesome. Dodger blue. Hey, it is Dodger blue. Yeah, Marlon is Dodger that, blue. That is really a good assessment. It's of actually it. funny. I had my Dodgers hat off on this morning, taking my kids to school. Ugh. And then ginger. The, the love ginger. All right. And and you know what? We talk about bounce all the time in this product. It's got a good bounce about this product. So and so the more so so there's a fine line. You don't want it too bouncy because then you have to buy two yards for every yard of fabric, and then it gets <laughs> really point. expensive. So point, right. the 25, 30 percent, I would say 25 is the perfect amount in this type of product because it does allow the beauty to come through. And if it's got a design or a pattern, it really accentuates the undertones yeah. and and all the the printing. So again, we've worked to a science on these guys, and we had. It was hard getting to where we got, and it's it's gotten so good that they've had solicitations from other factories trying to buy their ingray fabric that they have, which they've declined, of course, to yeah, sell. But uh, and then this one is mallard. Yes, mallard. Yep, yep, yep. Looks great. Oof, looks great. Pretty, pretty color. And then basil. So those are the five new colors. If you guys haven't Newer, yep. haven't gotten these, get out there and get them. And then um, the last thing we want to show you guys is Enzo. And Enzo is <laughs> just absolutely, you want to stretch that so they could see. 
It's just like a wild kind of a chinchilla whistlery kind of a print. Yes. And when it's just left alone to be relaxed. just relaxed, it's just gorgeous. It looks like a beautiful piece of marble that came from a, the Amalfi yeah. Coast somewhere in Italy. Um, and it's like it something just, out of nature. It, it's just super duper. I mean, you could tell that these are the latest. So when I tell you that the quality is improved, this is absolutely stunning, no shedding. And, you know, it's, it's really, really soft on the back, so it's easy to work with. And I, I think this is my favorite Milan yet. I think so, too. There's Maybe the rose water clotted leopard is really, really, yeah, really, that's pretty, really but... pretty. too. Boy, I don't know. So, so this is called Husky. And that's that's the, the color. Black and whitish kind of look. So again, it's called Enzo is the name of the fabric. That Milan color, Enzo. Yep. And yep. that color was Husky. This is Bellini. Makes so, you want to go have a drink somewhere, you know, right? This is, this is one of those that's going to go with um, two new colors. Actually, it goes really pretty. Boy, it looks pretty on screen. Um, it goes with two new colors. It's going to go with the new color cedar wood, and it should go with the new color desert rose as well. Both of them, which you'll see in other fabrics. It's really pretty. And so they're on the website ready for pre-orders. Um, they These are actual shipping samples that we received yesterday. Yeah. Um, so this is actually the exact quality that they're going to be coming in at. So kudos um, to the marketing and the photography team for getting this up online quickly yeah. because they just came yesterday. I mean, so. last night I'm like, okay, we're going to be showing this. They're going to go wild. They're going to want to order it. And for the folks that are consumers, be patient. We do have orders from a number of retailers that have already been placed. Um, so hopefully they'll be online and in stores um, within a couple of weeks after we are, it arrives to our warehouse. Hey, thanks, Cindy. That's sweet. Um, okay, I have to tell you, this is my favorite. I think this is so pretty. It's so rich and so deep. And you can see the two tones in it. What's it That's really pretty. What's color name? This one is uh, Desert Rose. Okay, so remember I was just talking about Desert Rose. Desert Rose, it, the difference between cedar wood and Desert Rose, it's, there's not a lot of difference, but the difference is, is Desert Rose is slightly pinkier and cedar wood is slightly browner, but they're both gorgeous in their own right. I keep calling them lipstick colors because I think they're just so beautiful. Just beautiful, you guys. So that, I love that. And then this one, this one was a fan dark, favorite in the dark office. Dark sea. So what's the base color here? The base color is Poseidon, but it came in a little tiny bit brighter, but we've left it. And, and it's, it's, and it's, it's navy gorgeous. with it. And so, it, but it's just such a pretty color combination that we just had to leave it alone. So normally I would tweak that to match Poseidon closer, but because it's so pretty, we said, just leave it alone and Again, we'll just let it be. And that's this, why we named it Dark Sea. So sometimes I know questions that people ask is how do we name things? You should see what we go through to name things. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's a game that we have to play it's with ourselves. To, feel how soft. I, it's I can see how soft. You can just see the yes, it's very the fluffy little, and airy and the light fiber and, movement. It's and, so and just absolutely stunning. And you guys know, look, our product is designed, and of course this one is loaded. There is one missing that we don't have oh, here. Well, us. yes, we do have two more. Um, our product, because of the weighted nature of them they do have a therapeutic essence about them. And we've heard all kinds of stories, gotten all kinds of pictures of just kids or people that have a little autism or anxiety, just saying, oh my God, this is the first time I was able to sleep comfortably with this blanket over me. They're not weighted blankets, so let's not confuse the two, because a weighted blanket is typically at least 15 pounds mm -hmm. and all the way up to 30 pounds. These, you know, when you make a 60 by 72 blanket, which is a standard size, they'll weigh in anywhere between seven to 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice weight. And if look, most of you guys, I know you're cuddle addicts, right? You've been cuddleized. You throw two blankets on top of yourself and now you've got yourself a weighted blanket that's softer than any weighted blanket in the world. So this one is mocha. So this was the original color actually. Yeah, this the is what the mill yeah, sample to so us. So we said, you know what, we're going to put it in. Um, we'll probably slow down a little bit on the brown shades because I think there's quite a few of them now. But, but I they think work that well together. So beautiful. They do work well together. And that's why I had somebody ask me the other day uh, about the browns. And, but they're so, so, so pretty and rich that I think it's it's way worth having what we have. But, oh, gosh, it's nice. Just really nice together. And then, and then this one's also a love. This is Jade. So jade so, is a base of... Uh, the actual base is supposed to be um, spearmint, but it got a little bit on the dark side, so we left it alone. Which is beautiful. But, but the darker part is spruce, and it does match spruce perfectly. 
So when you put a spruce next to this, it just comes alive. Yes. So we called it um, jade because it really does reflect jade. So there's it? one other color that's called silver that we don't have here. Um, I think it's silver, right? No? It's graphite. Oh, that's right. It's the darker one. It's graphite. So it's a, it's a darker gray with a black tipping. And we did have a litter piece, but I don't know. It, it doesn't look like it made it in here. Yeah, it hasn't made it. So the, 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 that's the last one that we're supposed to be getting next week. But again, these Milan products, the new ones, I encourage you guys to um, go on the website, go on our retailer site, go to the shops and look for them and get them. They're absolutely beautiful. And, you know, we, we really are excited about what's coming out. And we just want to educate everyone about, you know, the challenges in the market with this product and how we've over, we have overcome mm -hmm. our challenge internally that we had. Mm -hmm. But I know there's other challenges out there with other competing product. Um, and again, I, I hope that these products deliver comfort, joy, and happiness into your lives and into your worlds. Um, we're going to be seeing more of you guys. There's more new products coming down yes. the pipeline. And we should tell you next week, we're going to be on on Thursday instead of on uh, our regular Wednesday that we've been yes. doing. Um, so we have a, uh, Jeremy won't be with us that week. So um, we're switching our day. And so, um, hey, uh, hey, Mary Lou. Can I pull the comments down a little bit, Jeremy? I missed, missed somebody there. Well, go down a little further. Christina, we love cuddle too. We Linda, really love cuddle. Linda, that's funny. Yes. You're not alone with that, right? So, okay, you guys. Um, any questions? Again, I love I love us interacting with you with questions. I and sorry if one. we missed some of the comments. We got too passionate about the product, but you know, if you're persistent enough, if we don't answer you the first time, just put it in again. Um, thank you, Jill. Yes, they are beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. We've got next week. We're doing wild chinchilla. Wild uh, yes, Wild Chinchilla. And Sydney. And Sydney. I can't wait for you to see Sydney. Sydney is really, really, really yes. soft. It's another bunny soft one that well, I that's, can't stop that's, petting. Well, uh, that's Vienna. Vienna quality. It's very similar, very similar. In, in texture mm -hmm. and in pile, but just has a different embossing. And then the week after that, we've got the Seal Mesa, yep. which is a beautiful discharged print in really cool jewelry tone yeah. uh, shades that are just absolutely... You're gonna perfect be for home so decor excited for those. Um, and we're going to do more of these. I mean, I think that, you know, the, the, the um, consensus we get from people who are commenting from people who reach out to us by, um, you know, by email, by text is that, Oh my God, they love it. And that thank you for having so many minky blankets. Uh, we love people like you. I've got a bunch of them in the house and I'll tell you guys a funny story. Uh, when I first had my first, when we had our first child, Hannah, at that time, we dealt more with the manufacturers, and so I got all kinds of minky cuddle gifts from all of our customers. And my wife, one night, she was just sitting there. She's like, she starts crying. I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And it's right after the birth of our child, and she's like, oh, my God, Hannah's got all these beautiful minky blankets or cuddle blankets, and there are kids in the world that don't have one. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm blessed. We're blessed to have so many blankets. But, yes, I, I hope everyone can have – an opportunity, and I know that we're running a, a little uh, contest, sweepstakes, some sort of thing to give away blankets to nonprofits of your choice. So please chime in and help us find the non nonprofits who are making the world a softer place, spreading the goodness that deserve some recognition, that deserve some love. Um, you know, our philanthropy part of our business is something we're very serious about, yeah. and it's something that I'm really passionate about. And you know, I've been fortunate to have the American dream as, as an immigrant, and I want to be able to give back to whoever I can within our path. So we thank you guys for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah, but what are we doing tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow is the Cuddle Connection, part two. So you're going to be able to go stroll down memory lane with us to hear the rest of the story where we left off in, in your arrival. Yes, so we're doing, we're doing once a month on series on that. So uh, tomorrow is the next installment. So we'll see you then. If you want to join us, we'd love it. Yes. All right. God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Don't be intimidated by Milan.